Support Wrestle Talk. Donate on Patreon. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I am Luke Owen. This week not only saw the return of Paige after a 16th month absence and Roman Reigns becoming a modern day Grand Slam champion, we also had five NXT call-ups to the women's division. Raw saw the debuts of Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose, while SmackDown Live got a new trio in Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan. According to Ryan Satin at Pro Wrestling Sheet, Vince McMahon made the decision to call up several women to the main roster shortly after the Mae Young Classic, which aired in August and September this year on the WWE Network. Pro Wrestling Sheet sources say that McMahon felt that the women's division on both brands was becoming stale, and an influx of new faces, and the returning Paige, could freshen this up. With Paige, Rose, Deville, Riot, Logan and Morgan joining the main roster, that brings WWE's women's division across both brands to 20 active wrestlers. 21 if you include Lana. This has led fans to speculate that this could be a sign WWE are going to pull the trigger on the long rumoured Women's Royal Rumble in January, which reportedly was going to feature 20 wrestlers. This could also include the surprise returns of the likes of Nikki Bella, other NXT call-ups, and former WWE stars like Kelly Kelly and Michelle McCool, who recently teased a WWE return. In the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Meltzer notes, this may be loading up the women's roster so they have enough women to do a Royal Rumble this year, because really they should at this point. However, Ryan Satin writes in his Pro Wrestling Sheet report, for what it's worth, our sources haven't heard anything about that being in the works. However, that doesn't mean it's not a possibility. Meltzer also notes in the Wrestling Observer newsletter that although the debuts of Six Faces has bolstered roster numbers, not everyone is happy. With six new women characters all starting at once, this has left a lot of marginal talent nervous about spots, because when there are a lot of additions, there are likely some subtractions coming. It's time to honour some of our $25 and above backers on Patreon by giving them their own Hall of Fame ring. Get it? Don't blame me, it's an Ollie Davis joke. So here's to you, hard as nails Nick Schiff, Jay Grizzly Bear Notorious, Little Dre, Courtney Chaos, John Wick Chapter 2, David Hendrix is God Mackenzie, Christopher the Condor Johnson, and Kevin Razmataz Chappelle. If you want your name read out in the Wrestle Talk News or Wrestle Ramble, and get access to our Patreon exclusive podcast where Ollie and I review pay per views from wrestling history, then head over to our Patreon page, a link for which can be found below. Coming off Survivor Series, SmackDown Live was slightly up in the ratings this week, pulling in 2.6 million viewers, up around 52,000 from last week. But more importantly, are your ratings. Ollie Davis really didn't like this week's SmackDown Live, and 56% disagreed, thinking it was smack bang in the middle, with only 16% agreeing. And in the Wrestle Ramble poll of which show was better this week, it was a landslide victory for Raw with 87% of the vote. Hear what Ollie and I thought of those NXT call-ups in the Wrestle Ramble. And what was the reason The Miz lost his Intercontinental Championship to Roman Reigns? Click the video to the left to find out more, press subscribe and support Wrestle Talk on Patreon. Buy issue one of the magazine and download the Wrestle Ramble podcast because both are excellent. I have been Luke Owen and that was wrestling.